What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to make the, make the normal say block even better. So the normal say block is just saying hello, like, just basically saying hello. But, right, what I'm going to teach you is we're going to say one letter at a time. So, first, open up a new Scratch project. I have already done that. And then, make a block. I'm going to call this block, say, and we're going to add an input called text. So, we are going to put some text in here. So, in say text, we need to um, say H, and then E, and then L, 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 and then L, and then O. So we need to keep track on which letter we are on. So let's make a variable called letter hash. Stands for letter number and make it sure it's for this sprite only. Let's say set letter hash to one. And we need to know what the previous letter was. So let's make another variable called previous letter. And again, it's also for this sprite only. I'm going to set previous letter to blank. And we're going to get a repeat loop. And we're going to repeat the length of text. And we're going to say, we're going to say, join le previous letter, previ join previous letter, letter, letter hash of text. And you might need to pause the video to um, get this code here. And we're going to, in this repeat loop, we're going to change the letter hash by 1. And we're going to set letter um, previous letter to join previous letter, letter hash, letter, letter hash of text. Like that. And we need a wait block because we need to do it one at a time. So, let's drag it to say block and let's say, say hello. Oh yeah, and one thing you need to do is make sure the order is correct. So, it needs to look like that. Make sure this script is in front of the change letter hash by one. So now it looks like that. And you can do this if you want. You can change this variable. Change this wait second. So you can talk faster. Or you can talk slower. Like, let's say one second. Which goes one by one. One second at a time. You can do that if you want. You just need to change these variable, this uh, wait block. Anyways. That's all for today, and if you need this code, just put in your backpack. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out. 